Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Justin Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Cancer. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, we're starting off here with the Nine of Cups energy. Knight, sorry. Take a look at this horse. It's almost looking around. It's feeling really sad in despair. Looking around to see if there's an answer or anything. It's almost as if it's looking to find something, but it can't find it. You have the hair font right under, right? This guy is all about spiritual code, spiritual practice, religion, um, doing things by the book, right? Uh, found uh, education, higher education, but when it comes to, to faith, its own version of faith or whatever it perceives faith to be, right? And so here you are receiving downloads, but again, you're looking around, looking all over for something. It almost seems like you lost something. Both characters, they look like they just lost. They lost something. But again, here you are shedding, trying to leave some imprints, some DNA, leaving parts of you behind. Or as you walk by, you leave your prints, your DNA, um, parts of you wherever you walk like whatever path you go towards, everywhere you go, everyone you meet, you leave a part of you behind. Hmm. It almost reminds me of somebody who's losing, who's leaving old versions of faith or belief behind in order for him to acquire new knowledge. It's like he has to let go of the old one. Like we all get certain knowledge for a couple of months, for a year, work with it, and then we release it, and then we change our views, right? It could be years, whatever. You change your views and then start adopting something else as, as a possibility to what you perceive your religion to be, your God to be, your higher knowledge to be, right? Your guides to be, right? It almost seems like your version of spirituality changes throughout the years, and it's almost as if you're at a you're at a point in your life where it's about to shift again. Like maybe the way you used to believe higher power to be in your life has changed dramatically. Maybe you guys used to think that source or higher self would save you only to find out that that's not the case at all. You save yourself, right? And then whenever you feel like you're needing saving, it just means that you're not actually in alignment. You're actually unable to fit in your own body you're not at peace right it's the opposite of peace it's 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 conflict and that's the time where you need to ground yourself the most right it's funny because the next card that comes out is uh ninth house faith this uh the black moon astrology card i had a card hidden on the floor it fell and i picked it up and this is what came out so i decided to use it on the deck 33 right it's an important master number look faith right what is your faith what does your faith look like are you an astrologer are you into the wiggy board are you into palmistry are you into religion are you into uh nature is 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 the best way to communicate with source through nature like what are your spiritual conducts and codes look at it from the harfon's point of view what do you believe is to be your sense of spirituality your your foundation of it too Again, maybe you're on the verge of changing that. Maybe you're on the verge of accepting that maybe you can't expect so much from the divine, right? Since it's a mutual partnership between the two, it's almost as if you're wondering if your faith in the divine even matters since you feel like maybe the divine didn't pull its weight during your mutual partnership. Maybe you feel like you're the one that did all the sacrificing. Maybe you're the one that feels that you're the one that has to surrender more and more and more and more at every level at every stage and it's like where does that get you it only leaves you asking more questions like who am i what am i here to do why does it matter that i believe or have faith it's almost as if you're asking yourself the very important questions in life because there's no answers right it's like the more time you spend learning about who you are the good and the bad it's almost as if you have even more questions if that's even possible right because here you are as the king of pentacles looking for something looking for an answer you can see this as a demonic like worship 
thing or you could see this as an opportunity you could see this as however you want but at the end of the day is he's looking for something to be clarified in his life he's looking for an answer he's looking for something to make sense but if you're feeling really lost right now on your path not to the point where you're suicidal right but it's more of like you're sad because you just don't understand why maybe the, the road is as difficult as it is or it's as clueless as it is or unattainable as you feel it is all you know is that you're dying though your ego some part of your ego is like surrendering and dying and so you have to be extra nurturing and kind to yourself your inner child and all versions of self because it's time death is near you right and the more death you incur within the transformation, right? Scorpio, think of Scorpio energy transforming you. The more you do that, the less you actually know who you really are, right? And then there in turn, that's when the questions come in. Who am I? Why do I need to surrender so much? Will me surrendering bring about this peace and validation that I've always wanted to give to myself but never could? It's questions like that. You have death right under, I mean, I mean death on top and then the devil right under. It's almost as if um, some part of you, again, this is like Scorpio, right? Energy, transformation, and now Capricorn energy. It's It reminds me of when we talk about Capricorn energy, um, the reason Capricorn is associated with it is because, again, it has this love for the 3D, love for money, love for uh, image, love for things that make it feel secure. And so when we talk about the devil, it's you're bounded, right? You're bounded to things that you think will bring you long-term stability, security, and safety. You're bounded by those things. These are the things that have brought you what you've needed your whole life. So it's like these addictions, these things that can turn into addictions, whether that's love for money, love for coping mechanisms, uh, things to validate you, anything in the 3D. When you're attached to those things after so long, you, you forget that, that there's more to you than that Capricorn or devil energy. The whole point of uh, Scorpio energy coming in to transform you is to show you that there's more to you than just your darkness and what means come about when you use this energy. Yes, you get what you need using that energy, your vices, right? Your vices help you cope with life, but there's something outside of that. There's more to you than that. And it's like lately you've only felt like you've been pulled to this energy. And then whenever you're being asked to surrender that, right, transform yourself into something greater than your just your vices and the addictions and Capricorn energy, right, or devil energy. When you're being asked to, 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 look that, to look or have faith that there's something more to you there, that's a big asking. The divine's asking a lot from you. And, and, and I can see why you start getting lost or feeling lost or feeling like you don't know who you are without these without your devil energy your coping mechanisms your vices right so again now you're being asked to believe that there's something better for you there's a better way to deal with yourself there's uh, healthier ways to be at peace and and happiness better ways healthier ways to validate yourself to get uh without having to live with coping mechanisms or the fear of not having coping mechanisms right it's this fear energy. It's this fear of lack of. What happens when I don't have my coping mechanisms? Who am I? Who do I become? What comes to me? What do I attract? Can I be anything other than my vices? Mm. Can you? This is when the vine tells you, have faith. You're about to discover that there are way more things about you um, that need to be discovered that will be discovered and that have more of a connection to your purpose than what you're giving yourself credit for now. There's a whole purpose behind everything that you're doing or everything that's happening and you just have to allow it to happen so that you could discover versions of yourself that really are for the future and contribution to not only your faith but to humanity. That's part of being human, seeking spirituality. All right, uh, that's all I have for you, my beautiful Cancers. Take care. I love you. Bye.